Hello friends. So once again welcome to my channel and in today's video today we are going to see micro programmed control unit design. In our last video we have seen uh, that hardwired control unit design. So there are two categories of control unit design. One is hardware based approach, one is software based approach. So today's video is for your micro program control unit. Yeah, so yeah, then an alternate what is micro program control unit? It is an alternative to a hardware control unit and in which the logic of the control unit is specified by a micro program. What is this micro program? I'm going to explain. Then a micro program consists of a sequence of instructions in a micro programming language. Micro programming language will be consisting of zeros and ones. They, uh, these are very simple instructions that specify micro operations. So the term micro, operation, uh, micro program was first coined by M. B. Wilkins in the early 1950s. Then now I'll start uh, that uh, what we are going to do in micro program control unit design. So before going to do the design, whatever building blocks are required, first I'll be talking about that. So basically micro program control unit design is based on software approach. It is not directly as software means it will be collection of micro instructions will be there, micro routines will be there, those terms will be coming. So what they are that let me explain. So see what we have to do. Basic aim is to execute one instruction. To execute the instruction we need to generate the control, required control signals in required sequence. Right. So that is our job. So we need to generate the signals in proper sequence at proper time, right? So that we are supposed to do. So this example one instruction I have taken for this instruction, if we are using single bus CPU organization, then what are the signals required in the sequence is nothing but my control sequence. So that already we have seen first part is your instruction fetch. So till step number three, we have brought the instruction from memory into your IR, it is decoded. And then we got to know that one operand is in memory. So we need to get it from memory by performing a memory read operation. Where is the address? Address is in R3. So that part we have done. In the meantime, R1 is also taken to Y register. And then ultimately when data arrives from memory, we have performed the add operation and the result is given to R1 register. This part already I have told you number of times. So it is already clear. Now the point is what is microprogram control unit and how it is going to make use of all this. What we will do for every instruction we know the control sequence. Now for each control sequence we will prepare one micro routine. What is micro routine? It will be a collection of micro instruction. What is micro instruction? To explain that I will take one example. In my previous videos, in the beginning videos, sometime I have explained about uh, status word or your um, uh, condition code register. What is condition code register? It, it is a register where various bit positions, various bit positions are indicators of various conditions. Like this one, uh, any means this is not for a particular processor, so I can take anything. So this is for sign flag. This is for carry, this is for zero, this is for overflow, like this. The meaning is each position is an indicator of a certain condition. If this bit value is one, that means previous instructions result has produced one carry, right? If this value is one, that means the result is negative. If this value is one, that means there is an overflow. So what is my point here to explain is in a status register, bit positions are fixed for particular conditions. If the condition occurs, the value will be 1. If the condition is not occurring, value will be 0. Like this, what we are going to do in our micro program control unit design, we are going to write some set of micro instructions. This is my instruction and corresponding to one step of my instruction, I will be having one micro instruction. What is micro instruction? See, in a micro instruction, in uh, first level, I'll explain. In the first level, in a micro instruction, suppose in my instruction set, suppose I have got 130 instruction. For 130 instructions, I need to write this control sequence. We will write that. 
and some of the signals are there in all the instruction some are new like that out of this 130 instructions control sequence let's say we have got total 40 distinct signals 40 distinct signals are there i'm just taking one assumption with that assumption i'm going to explain so 40 distinct signals are there like pc in pc out read write z in z out like that so for 40 uh, this one signals 40 bit we will be reserving 40 bits we are going to reserve and in one in and in one step whatever signals are on at their bit positions will make the bit value as 111 and whosoever is absent in that particular step their corresponding bit value will be zero and by this combination of one and zero we arrive at a micro instruction so micro instruction is part of a instruction one instruction is broken down into several steps and then each step is represented as a bit combination of one and zero that will be termed as micro instruction and for all these seven steps we will be having one one micro instruction and together them we termed as your micro routine so now once again i'll explain so see for this instruction sequence we'll be having one micro routine how i am getting that micro routine first let me explain so see each of these are what nothing but micro instruction and in a micro instruction we will be reserving one one bit position for one one signal right like this one is pc out this one is mar in mdr out read write like this and see you need not have to learn this sequence you can write in any sequence because right now we are not doing it for particular processor so whatever signals i can see in my instructions I'm just uh, writing them and now I, how I'm going to prepare micro instruction. For one control step, there will be one micro instruction. So this is my one step. For this, I need to prepare a micro instruction. So what I will do, wherever PC out is there, the value will be one because this signal is on in step number one. Then MAR in, so it will be one. But MDR out is not one here. So it, uh, MDR out is not present here, so it will be zero then read then select and see select four select line value will be either one or zero if i need to select four then select line value is taken as one so it is one then add and then jd then rest of these signals are not there in my step number one so their bit values are zero do remember you need not have to remember this sequence that how I have written. You can write, write, read, R1 out, R1 in, PC out, PC in, MDR out, MDR in, in any sequence. Only what you have to do, whatever signals are appearing, whatever signals are appearing in your step, for those particular positions, make the bit value as one and rest them as zero. Rest of all, rest all of them will be zero, right? And they need not have to be in sequence, right? In any way you can write. You can see the next example. Z out, PC in, Y in, WMFC, second step. So all these signals are one. So for that, you see all these signals are there in second step. So their bit values are one. And rest, all the bit positions values are zero. Why? Because these signals are not there in step number two. So like this, we have prepared control signals. Sorry, uh, like this, we have prepared micro instruction for each of the steps. and Together, the collection of micro routine will be termed as a my collection of micro instructions will be termed as a micro routine. So, for one instruction, there will be one micro routine in my micro program control unit design. Hope what is micro routine is more or less clear. What I have done for one instruction, I have written the control sequence, and then we have uh, find out the uh, what is that control words control word means micro instruction similar to my uh, this one flag register concept so see this in this control word e, in each of these signals are given one one position if the signal is present in a particular step number the value will be one else it will be zero so hope this part is clear suppose i need to see uh, the step number seven in step number seven what is uh, on this uh, Z out is on. So Z out is see in this column. So Z out. 
R1 in. So R1 in is in this step and then end. So this one, right? So see here many more signals can be there. I have not accommodated all. Then I have put this dot dot dot. That means it is um, other signals will be also there based on whatever instructions we are taking, right? So this is how we will be designing micro routine for each of my micro instructions. Sorry, for each of the instructions present in my instruction set architecture. This is my step number one for designing micro program control unit. Hope this part is clear. Now, uh, the some theory terms we will go through. The terms related to micro program control unit. The very first one, that combination of one and zero is nothing but micro instruction or control word. See, from one instruction, many steps are coming. For each step, there is one micro instruction. So see, for each micro operation, the CU generates a set of control signals. Micro operation means one step. Thus, for any micro operation, uh, each control line emanating from CU is either on or off. The, whatever control unit is uh, generating the signal, the value will be on or off. The condition can be represented by a binary digit for each control line, right? For each row of the previous table, that table we have seen represents a micro instruction, right? Each row is nothing but a micro instruction. That is, in a micro instruction, each bit position is fixed for a particular condition, right? For a particular condition, right? And for a particular control signal, and if a signal is generated in that particular micro instruction, then that bit position value will be 1, else it will be 0. So this is how we are going to prepare a micro instruction. Done. Second term was micro routine. What is micro routine? A sequence of micro instructions or a sequence of control words corresponding to a particular instruction is called as micro routine for that particular instruction. So in our previous table, we have also seen one micro routine and that was for whom? That was for this instruction, add R3, R1, right? The next, uh, another important term is control store. So see, we have seen what is micro routine, micro instruction. Then what is our next step? What we will do for each of our instruction, we will write one micro routine and all these micro routines will be stored at a, in one memory and that special memory is called as control store because this memory is related to control unit design. So we used to call it as a control store. Store means memory. The instruction set of any computer is finite, maybe 130, 150, something like that or 80, 90 something. The micro instructions for all the instructions in the instruction set is stored in a special memory called as control store or control memory. This is done. Then the next one is mu PC. See uh, why we are storing them and all that point is coming to your mind. So see that part I'm going to explain very soon. So see in your memory, in your memory, your instructions are there, right? To fetch an instruction, we need to know the address of the instruction. And who can give us the address of the instruction? Program counter can give us the address of the instruction residing in your main memory. Now my instruction is broken down into what? Some set of micro instruction. So now if at all I need to read a micro instruction from this memory, then I need a pointer to it. Who can point to it? Here micro program counter. Micro program counter will point to the micro instructions present in the control store. So mu PC points to the next micro instruction that need to be fetched from the control store, right? The next part of this micro program control unit, I'm going to explain in my next video. There we will see what is the significance of this mu PC and what is the use of storing this control word and all. That part I'm going to talk in my next video. Thank you.